Hi, my name is Troy Ladd. We're at Hollywood Hot Rods. This is Paul Bosserman. Today we're working on the custom bumper for the Street Rodder 2015 Road Tour car. Part of the process is to build this custom bumper is narrowing the stock bumper. And what's important about that using the SynchroWave 210 in this particular application is we need to do a butt weld that has to be structurally sound, but more importantly, we need additional fill uh, in, the, in the butt welds to make sure there's no undercutting because in a chrome plating process, we have to be able to grind, fill, uh, or grind and smooth and polish the welds to perfection since there can't be any bondo or anything like that for chrome plating. So Paul is going to do the work here. Again, we're using a SynchroWave 210 and the idea is to make sure we have bezeled, beveled butt joints that way there's plenty of penetration with the weld and he'll make sure that there's again no undercutting uh, plenty of fill rod so we will have material to do the finish work so it can go to chrome plating. So this is uh, one thing I've learned over the years is that confidence is the one of the keys to to welding. Um, you have to have confidence about your weld that you're going to make a great weld. Um, number two is watching your puddle. Um, you want to uh, keep a molten puddle that's connecting both pieces of your your welding plus the filler rod. Um, if you watch that puddle all the way through your weld. You can, you can see how much filler you're putting into it. And like in this case, where we have to fill it up um, for the, to be able to grind it flush for the chrome plating, it's, it's very important to watch that puddle all the way through. Here I'm using the uh, um, 060 filler rod. Uh, it's very important to match your filler rod to the thickness you're welding. Uh, this, this bumper is slightly less than an eighth inch thick. And that, that's giving me enough enough filler to fill up the, my, my grind, uh, the, fill up the bevel, and makes a, makes, makes a difference to, you can, you can keep adding and pushing your filler, but if you have the right diameter filler, then it's a lot easier to, to make a nice weld. Now I'll show you how we do our, our final process of metal finishing. Uh, we, we spray it with a uh, layout fluid and let the layout fluid dry then we, we block sand it and that gives us our, it shows where the high and low spots are so that we can hammer and dolly out those and we just, we keep working that and we, we may have to do it two or three times before we get it perfect but uh, especially for a bumper that's being chrome plated, the, it, it needs to be absolutely smooth. Uh, pretty unforgiving process, so uh, I'll demonstrate how to do that. Okay, now I will uh, use a block sander to, to sand, um, sand the area that I'm, I'm trying to find the high and low spots in. The, uh, you need something good and hard that uh, will hold the shape. It can be somewhat flexible if you're doing a curved surface, but um, usually it, it needs to be it, ne it needs to be nice and stiff and flat. And as you can see. Uh, the weld is the weld is right here, so you can kind of see the high spot, but there's a low spot here on this side of the weld. We'll, we'll bring that up. Um, also, it, it dips down slightly from from here to here, so we'll we'll bring that up some, or possibly just take 
take these high spots, take them down, down a little bit. But that, that's how we work it to make it smooth. Now we'll to, uh, I will take down these, these high spots and bring up this, this low spot by using a, a dolly and a, and a hammer. Um, basically, I will I'll put the dolly underneath in my, in my low spot and I will work some off dolly. In other words, I'm, I'm hitting off, off to the side of the dolly to, to help bring this up and take this part down. Um, and then I may do on dolly some to, to stretch this area and bring it up. So uh, I'll show you how I do, how I do that. And then you re-block it. And as you can see, the, the low spot we had was, is, is gone. And I will continue to do this process until all these, all these areas are, are gone. So today, Paul used the Synchrowave 210 on the bumper project. And this is actually one of our favorite machines in the shop, although we have a variety of TIG machines. There's seven fabricators here. Um, we, we have larger machines like the D350, but this one we really like for a few different reasons. Um, there's so much going on here in so many cars, the mobility is really fantastic with this machine. We can get it around cars, we can get it to places that we need. Um, it's, it's very mobile. It's also 100 pounds lighter uh, based on the uh, new, new inverter design of this machine. Uh, another thing we run into at this shop is we have limited 220 power. So one of the great features of this machine is the, is the MVP. So again, in here, we're running off of uh, 110 power from the wall. If we're out in the shop floor doing heavier material, we can use the 210 plug. And for us, it's, it's really versatile. And uh, for a lot of the same reasons as well, we love the wireless pedal. Again, no cords and a lot of times, Again, with the mobility of this machine, we'll, we'll put it next to a car that'll be on the lift. We'll be working upside down, working underneath, working between cars. And things like the, the plug and the wireless pedal are really important for us to really get our job, the job done here in the various conditions that we have to work in. So we've been working on the rear bumper of the 1961 Sunliner, which is the Street Rotter Road Tour car. Um, we thought we'd show you the front bumper because we have the similar, the same modifications under this bumper as the one we've been working on. And you can see from the back side, um, here's the back side of the welds here. Again, same as the rear. It's split down the center and then narrowed, and we'll show you why. Then all of these patches here are where there would have been uh, bumper bolts. We eliminate all of those so that from the front, you have a smooth, clean surface. And then also on this bumper, there was uh, side marker lights and front blinkers that we're relocating to the grill. That way we can have a nice smooth chrome bumper visually without any um, you know, imperfections or, or sight line modifications uh, with the bolts and lights and things like that. It just kind of gives it a cleaner look. So we'll stick this on the car. I'm a little tight over here. And let's see, something like that. So you can see the reason that we cut them apart and put them back together is we can make nice tight gaps here where from the factory, this stuck out, oh, probably half inch, three quarter over what we have here. And then we also, when we fill these, the bumper bolt holes, we change the brackets that mount the bumper so that we can run it tighter to this panel here, uh, something like that and it just gives an overall cleaner look and that's you know part of what we do when we customize cars so we still have got quite a bit of work to do here on the uh, street rider road tour car which we'll be working on in the next few months and it will go on tour in june uh, for more information on what we do at hollywood hot rods you can go to hollywoodhotrods.com and also for more information on the products we use today you can go to millerwelds.com